requested by one of the subscribers on Louis Tutorial TV, I'm going to go ahead and make a video on how to actually edit videos on Wondershare Video Editor. This is a very powerful video editor and I like to use it sometimes for those special effects or making those special um, edits that I need to do with videos. Now the reason why I, I personally use Camtasia Studio and I use Camtasia because you can add multiple videos uh, playing at the same time but Camtasia does not compare to Wondershare when it comes to effects and actually editing videos alright so let's go ahead and get started the first thing you, you can do here let's say you're trying to make a podcast for YouTube or just trying to record yourself you can go ahead and click on the upper left hand corner up here where it says record that will bring up a window that will bring up your webcam come on here it comes okay here it is so my webcam is over here how's it going guys so you just go ahead and click on the record button here make sure that you have your microphone selected click on record make sure on quality you pick better or the best yeah quality best and go ahead and click record and you can go ahead and make a podcast real quick of uh, what you're doing now you can also import video files by clicking on the upper left hand corner here where it says import we're gonna go ahead and import uh, one of my videos here after shop pro 2 review and tutorial here it is let's go ahead and play it alright so this is one of my reviews now what I want to do is I'm gonna edit the beginning of this video and, and actually edit my my intro here I want to edit this to look a lot better alright depending on what you want to do so I'm gonna show you a trick a, a tip here real quick what you're gonna notice is so the first thing you gotta do is you you drag and drop this the video file to the video section so there's a video section PIP section that's extra videos but it won't play sound if you put them on here remember that and there's also a music section now what I want to do is first add a text and I'm gonna show you guys how to make a real good intro so to make a really good intro you might want to use text so let's go to text to click on the text tab here I'm gonna select this one because I like it I'm gonna drag and drop this guy down here to the text section down here double click it and now you can add text on the very top we're gonna go ahead and put introducing introducing and you can pick however you want the text to appear I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one here that where it comes from from there so select it and then click return down here it's gonna return back here let's go ahead and test it out now this introducing text I want before before the video now if you notice you can't really do that there's no way to do that on Wondershare I was trying to find out how to see you can't simply drag and drop the text before the video so I have a really cool tip here to do that go ahead and open up paint paint comes on all Windows operating systems and just go ahead and pick the uh, bucket and paint the uh, picture black go ahead and save this I'm gonna save it I'm gonna save it on the desktop as black screen saved now I can close paint alright let's go back to media tab here in media section go to import go to desktop we're gonna import this black screen and the reason why I made this black screen is so we can have something before the video now if you notice when you drag and drop it you can put it before the video see perfect so now the text is gonna come up with a black screen before the video and then voila let's go ahead and uh, make this a little more fancy what I like about Wondershare is it comes with sounds it already comes with sounds you can pick out of or you can go ahead and import your own sound but we're just gonna go ahead and use one from Wondershare I'm gonna use the drum it's one of my favorites I'm gonna click and drag the drum right here and I'm gonna have it play right with the text so now it's gonna look like this
And then, boom. So we already made a really cool introduction. And that's how you make an introduction. You go to paint, you just make a picture that's black, and then you put text over it. That's how you make it. Unfortunately, Wondershare doesn't let you do the text before the video, which is weird. You have to use a black picture to do it, just like I showed you guys. Now, I want to go ahead and add an effect. I want to change the Luis Tutorial TV logo. Let's go to effect here. I'm going to use my favorite effect, which is this one here, the Sobel. I'm going to add that right there, right where uh, Luis Tutorial TV starts, the logo. Now, let's watch it from the beginning. Let's see how it looks. Whoa. That looked badass. Nice. That looked badass. Now you can play with this. You can put lots more. There's this effect here. There's another cool one. Let me show you guys. This one it looks pretty badass too. Reminds me of the Matrix movie. So there's that one. There is what's another one that I like? Distort looks pretty cool too. Check this out. Whoa, what the heck? So you can go ahead and play with the effects. I think Wondershare has one of the coolest effects you can use. So whenever I'm trying to make a, an effect, I always come to Wondershare. I use a combination of two programs, right? I use Wondershare and I use Camtasia. I like to use both of those. I use Wondershare for my cool effects and then Camtasia to add multiple videos on the screen. And I do have a Camtasia tutorial video on my channel. You can go ahead and take a look, uh, take a look for it. All right, so that's pretty much it, how you edit. Once you're ready, oh, let me show you a couple more features here to help you editing. You can go ahead and um, select, you can actually cut these videos. You select where you want to cut it, and you click on the little scissors here on the, on the toolbar here, split. So now we just split those two videos. So now what you can do is delete what's left of it or before it, however you want to do it. If you accidentally mess up, you can click on the left arrow here and that'll, this is like an undo button and this is a redo button right here. So that's how you can do that. There's also transitions here. Let's go ahead and uh, test those out. So there's many, many of them. Let's go ahead and see what this one will do. That one's going to look pretty cool. So to do a transition, you first got to cut the video or if you have two different videos, it's already cut, of course. And you put this transition right in the middle. Right in the middle of the two videos. Hold on, it's not doing it right here. So there we go. You, you click and drag it where you want to do it. So now there's going to be a transition. Check this out. Boom. Did you see that? That's pretty cool. They have a happy heart one too. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try that one out. See how this one looks. <laughs> that was pretty cool with the hearts. All right. Once uh, let's go ahead and take a look more here. Now there's also uh, credits. You can also add credits to this. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this because I don't know how that got there. Delete that too. Now the credits. You can choose which ones you want. I really like these. This one's pretty cool. Double click it and you can actually go ahead and uh, do the credits. Let me go ahead and type something in here. Hold on. You're going to have to hit enter to go to the next line, all right? Don't just make a big write up hole line to the side you gotta hit enter make sure it stays on the middle there thank you for watching Wondershare video editor tutorial perfect all right let's go ahead and watch that credit thank you for watching Wondershare video editor dun, 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 that looks like the uh, Star Wars uh, credits that looks pretty cool as you that's what they're trying to convey here Star Wars thank you for watching Wondershare video editor tutorial all right once you're ready with your video 
you can to export it to actually download it to your computer you gotta go, go ahead and click on the export button here on the right the blue export button now it's gonna first come to device here don't be confused here you can you can go ahead and pick what device you want but actually what really matters is the format you gotta change the format here now make sure you pick go to profile here pick WMB MP4 AVI those first three are the most used on the internet and the world so if you pick any of these three you'll be good you can pick any you can pick the other ones too but people don't really use them much MPEG one used to be a really famous one but people don't use it much so it's WMB MP4 actually MP4 and AVI are the two most famous ones WMB it's kinda going away so I'm gonna go ahead and pick AVI go down here where it says resolution make sure you always always pick 1920 times 1080 that's the best looking widescreen video you can make 1920 times 1080 okay remember that 1920 times 1080 and then after that you just click ex export and if you're using the free trial it's um it's only gonna let you oh yeah it's gonna add a watermark if you're using the video tr if you're using the trial like I am right now it's gonna add a watermark if you don't want the watermark you have to buy the software now let's go ahead and take a look how much it costs real quick one year subscription is 20 bucks that's not bad lifetime license which I recommend you do if you do buy this that way you don't have to be you know um, updating it every year for 20 bucks for 40 bucks you can have it forever so it's right there you can see the, the benefit and just wanted to let you guys know how much it costs if you don't want a watermark you have to buy it all right but the way it is right now we are gonna have watermark I'm gonna click continue and what it's gonna do it's gonna convert it and it's gonna take a while to convert it actually it might take a couple minutes depending on the length of your video it's gonna take a while all right so I'm gonna go ahead and speed this video up until it's done converting all right so it's done converting now when it's done converting it's gonna ask you if you want to go to target you click on find target and it's gonna take you directly to the folder this is the folder where it went to by default it'll go to my documents wonder share video editor output that's where it's gonna be at that's where we're at right now so my documents you look for wonder share video editor output and that's where your video is gonna be let's go ahead and play it and see how it came out all right hold on one second now if you do install Wondershare video editor you might notice that it might replace your video as as the default video player but there it is right there it's playing that looks pretty pretty cool and here we have the credits that we did which we did not see nothing what happened all right first of all like I said if you install Wondershare video editor your default player might be Wondershare player let me show you how to change that because it can bug I prefer to use Windows Media Player right click the video go to properties click on change select Windows Media Player use Windows Media Player damn it all right now let's take a look at it sorry that just bugs me how it changes it to wonder I don't like the Wondershare video player it's just weird okay now we're using Windows Media Player let's take a look at it one more time come on if you notice there's a Wondershare watermark in the middle because we haven't bought it yet and the credits did not come up and we're gonna take a look here why it didn't come up the video came out okay though it came out good the everything works on it let's go ahead and double click the credits let's scroll up I don't know why the credits didn't come up let's click and return let's go ahead and put them there one more time if they don't come up on your video you might have to do it again yeah that's what happened I accidentally deleted this file right here do not delete this text file down here double click on it there it is 
all right guys that's pretty much how you edit videos on wondershare video editor i hope this video has helped you guys out that were requesting a video like this uh, let me know if you need to know any more features around the program that i didn't cover let me know go ahead and comment on the comment section of the video hope you liked the video and it was helpful don't forget to subscribe if you're not haven't subscribed to my channel go ahead and subscribe you can actually request a video tutorial for whatever software you need help on all right let me know again thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one